Hello and welcome to my tutorial for the Finch robot on the Eclipse IDE. In this tutorial I will be covering what programs you need, how to set up the software on Eclipse once you have Eclipse, and how to run the Eclipse program that you install. And uh, to start any of this, first of all you need the Eclipse IDE itself. So you can get that from eclipse.org slash downloads. But I assume if you're watching this tutorial that you already have it. So once you definitely have got that, then you go to this website right here, which is thefinchrobot.com. And then you go under the downloads and you'll see a whole bunch of software for the Finch. But the one we're focusing on right now, uh, obviously, is Java Eclipse. So under the downloads for Java, you'll find Eclipse at the bottom. And this tutorial is for Windows and Mac only, because Linux has an extra step in it that mm, you probably have to look at another Linux tutorial to do that itself. Or if you have good uh, direction following skills you could look at it from this website but um, we're just going to download uh, either Windows or Mac for this and I'm going to get the Windows one so you'll see this zip file down here and once that's downloaded you can unzip it and you can grab the Finch software from here and you can put it wherever you want really as long as you can access it later um, for example, mine's on my desktop, it's really easy access there. So once you have that, then you can open your Eclipse IDE and prepare to put that on your Eclipse IDE. Okay, so now you can see my Eclipse IDE is open. I already have Java Finch open here. But for you to open it, you'd have to go to File new Java project and you'd have to make a project name obviously and you can name it whatever you want like for example mine's Java Finch and it'll give me an error here because I already have a file here and once you have the file or the name of your project then you need to get the new location that you download from the internet so you can browse for the locations as as you can see mine's on my desktop so it's right here and then you wanna open that folder click on source files and then click OK so then this is your default location that you'll be using and as I said I already have it but you would click next and finish and then you would have that all set up so you might see little red boxes next to all these code segments here that each do stuff for the finch such as make the finch dance and make the finch change color and make the finch move in certain directions but um, to fix that it's really easy all you need to do is right click on the Java finch package itself go to the properties for it go to the Java build path and find the finch.jar which should be an add jars or add external jars or one of those and then you can just drag it in here and you should be good for that and then those arrows will most likely go away so this is all you really need for your java finch and um, inside each of these you'll find Finch projects that each do things for the Finch and the really nice thing about these projects and the way that the author of this pro or software made them is that they all come with comments above of what they do uh, which is good style anyways but it's really nice because you can look for the comment that you want such as if you want to change the uh, Finch's color of his nose to red then you could look for the color settings of the finch's nose in one of these folders over here 
and you could look for the comment that does that and you could switch it around and make it change it, the finch's nose to red so now I have a clip that I'm going to show you of the probably the most famous project that comes with this or one of the most famous which is the dance finch so thanks for watching my tutorial on how you run the finch robot on java clips and now i'll show you a little video of what it looks like to run dance java